This video is for instructional purposes only. The information presented is one point of view and not intended to replace individual recommendations and follow up with a qualified naturopathic doctor or herbalist. I use and recommend the Nature Sunshine line of supplements. The views expressed do not necessarily represent the views of Nature Sunshine. I'm Jane Semple. I'm a naturopathic doctor practicing in Cleveland, Ohio. Uh, we're going to talk today about influenza. Influenza is the second uh, only to the common cold and incidence in the developed countries and is responsible for more deaths than any other family of viruses. Uh, we often refer to a virus as a bird flu or a swine flu, but a wild bird was the original host. The pig simply an intermediary. Um, the flu has eight RNA segments. It has spikes that are H and N that are used to attach and detach from a cell. And this is what the CDC, or Center for Disease Control, uses as identifiers. So you might be familiar with H1N1, H1N4. Um, these are uh, viruses that have been around here these last few years. In addition to uh, the H&N spikes, uh, viruses are categorized by their pathogenic potential. A highly pathogenic strain can cause very severe illness and a very high mortality rate. Low pathogenic strains tend to be milder and not, um, not have high mortality. Uh, new strains arise um, all the time from persons, from animals, especially the pigs as a mixing vessel. Um, and you can take, if you get sick, uh, you can take pharmaceutical drugs. The side effects of antiviral drugs include dizziness, headache, ear infection, sore throat, sinus infection, nausea, vomiting, bronchitis, and cough. Sounds kind of like the flu. Um, two popular drugs um, showed a 2% resistance in 2004. That meant that only 2% of the viruses running around in 2004 were resistant to it. By 2005, that 2% had risen to 11%. By 2006, it was 91%. In other words, the drugs aren't gonna save us, okay? Um, vaccines really should be killed viruses. What they do is they put, a vi they put multiple viruses into a uh, tube where they're doing what? Recombining, you know, recombining with each other. Then, that tube itself becomes a mixing vessel. Now, they are trying to then kill the virus, but we all know of stories of people who become sick after getting a flu shot. Um, happens quite a lot. And in my opinion, those flu shots are acting as nothing but a mixing vessel, that they're actually causing more viruses or causing these viruses to be able to constantly uh, keep recombining and reforming. So, what can you do naturally? Elderberry is the first thing that I recommend. It is ex an excellent, uh, if you have the flu, it's also an excellent preventative. You can take elderberry in a capsule or you can take it even in chewable form. Um, they are also available in liquids and teas, which are also fine. Um, echinacea with golden seal. Uh, echinacea is an excellent antiviral. The golden seal kicks it up a bit. Um, we have liquid forms for children. They work very well. Astragalus. I always call that Chinese echinacea because the Chinese use astragalus just like we use echinacea, kind of for everything. If you find yourself really ill, uh, my suggestion is silver. Now silver sole is actually a patented, it is, um, the sole is smaller than a colloid and no, it does not turn you blue. It is USDA approved. It is, uh, it is um, patented for uh, use in not only influenza, but also against bacteria and, and um, funguses. Silver is excellent. Um, years ago, we had ephedra available to us. The FDA took it off the market. I always say that they take off the market anything that is um, successfully competing with a drug. So when they took a fetter off the market, we had to find a substitute. Uh, my substitute for that, for breathing difficulties in the flu, is lobelia. Um, lobelia will open up the bronchioles and allow you to breathe. You can take it in capsule form or for quicker relief, you can do a liquid. 
when you take a liquid under the tongue, it will get into the uh, system much quicker. So that is something uh, to absolutely consider. If you find yourself sick, it is you can't wait until the next day to to start on something. So if you don't have something at home, and it's because the virus is replicating every 20 minutes. If you don't have something at home, if all you have is garlic and onion, use it. Um, garlic also very antiviral as is onion. Onion not as good um, as the garlic, but it will also work. Horseradish, if you have horseradish at home, it also is worth a try. So I hope that you stay healthy this season, but if not, you know, try some uh, some of my recommendations, and I hope they help. If you're interested in more information on influenza, uh, please purchase my book, Influenza: A Naturopathic Approach. Uh, it is uh, by Woodland Publishing. It is available from Woodland online, or through Amazon or other online retailers. Thank you.